All right, who do we have here today? Thinker. Thinker. And Sherpa. Gangster. And Goldie. Nice. <laughs> Welcome, guys. So how's your, your hike going so far? Hike's wonderful. I mean, uh, couldn't be better weather. It's like 90 degrees and sunny all day. <laughs> <laughs> and we love the hostel. You guys have been absolutely amazing. We have had pretty good weather. We've had a little bit of rain. But for March, I think we're, well, we're in February, we're not quite in March. We've had amazing weather and the hospital's absolutely amazing. It is. <laughs> I will sit here for a couple of days so I can attest that <laughs> it is amazing. But the hike is going well and we've met some good people and some better people in town and we're loving every minute of it. And you're nursing a swollen ankle. Is it getting yes. any better? It's getting a little bit better. Okay. We're, we're going to be back out there tomorrow. So we're cool. ready to get going. And you got some new shoes too. New shoes, begrudgingly. Uh, <laughs> wasn't ready for them quite yet, but you got to do what you got to do. What, did you get the same kind you had before? Or? No. New, I went, I had some boots that I was hoping to get a little further down the trail and then switch to some shoes I had at home. Uh, but it, the time was now, so I've, I've got some new shoes and then when those inevitably wear out, I'll be going with the ones I have in queue. so. Okay. And how's your height going? Fantastic so far. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> you know, some weather that tests your mental uh, strength. <laughs> and um, But then uh, I know the joke is the AT has its highs and lows, which is literal and figurative as well. But, um, yeah, then, <clears throat> you know, some of those gorgeous sunny days where it's just, you know, your heart soars when you're out there on the top of those ridge lines. It's really, really cool. And the, um, the people have been fantastic. I've been... Seems like almost every other social media post I've done has been um, just, you know, how touched I am with everybody's kindness out here. So it's That's been cool great. to see. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. And how's everybody's feet doing? Oh, excellent. Awesome. Really, I mean, I'm not joking like I was before. My feet are great. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. My feet are really good. They're a little bit swollen. I was looking at my toes today, but I'm wearing the Aninji liners and then the Darn Tough on top. And whatever combination that is, I'm never changing it because that's exactly what I did. I yep. just yep. I'm a runner, so like at first I was oh, like yeah. toe socks, like that's really weird. <laughs> I've gotten a couple blisters over the year, but nothing huge. Switched to hiking, and I've read that that's what I should do, and I did it, and I haven't had one problem, and I don't think I'll ever switch. Cool. So that's key. Feet are doing all right, but I've seen worse. So <laughs> not not concerned about it. Okay. Feet are doing great. Cool. Yeah. Beauty of, <clears throat> I mean, it's crazy to think that wearing non-waterproof trail runners in February in the mountains is the right thing to do, but it is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I second that. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, can you guys tell us a little bit about what you do when you're not hiking? Well, I just got a new part of my life. I was working as a superintendent of a construction company. Now I'm retired. So I'm just now changing what I did to I'm just hiking now. Congrats on your retirement. Yeah, thank you. And can you tell us a little bit about what you did with um, the training with the dogs? Oh, training with the dogs. Oh, man. I want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's uh, training with the dogs is like a 10 hour thing um, a day. And it was tracking, training them and tracking in the morning, training obedience, training back tracking again, and then doing protection work in the, in the evenings. And, um, it, it was, it was a great sport and, um, still a great sport, but I'm not in it no more. And my wife's mm -hmm. glad because I spent all that time training, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, uh, I don't know what to say about that. Really? I could talk about it all day long. I don't want to bore you. <laughs> no, <laughs> and, like, uh, and what kind of dogs did you trained? Uh, Rottweilers, uh, German shepherds, uh, Personally, that's what I had, but I helped other people in my club train mountain wilds, over and painters, just the protection okay. type dogs for the sport shoots them. And uh, I made the U.S. World Team 2005, 2004, and it, uh, it it was just a great passion in my life at that point in time. Now I'm putting my passion into tra tra uh, hiking. Hiking, so. cool. Yeah. Beautiful. And that how about really you, Sherpa? Cool. I'm a detective <laughs> with the local government, and I love it. The last year has been a little rough with police in general and COVID, just everything. So hiking's been an amazing 
um, escape kind of. Mm -hmm. And I think I could move to the mountains and not come back. <laughs> I think my family would miss me and I'm starting to miss them already. It's been a little over a week. Um, but it's just been an amazing experience. That's so. awesome. So you, you mainly like work with people like after stuff happens, like you interrogate them? So I'm and... pretty much response. Like once a commercial okay. robbery happens, like a Royal Farm store or Pizza Hut or any kind of business, banks, then we go out. Like the initial response is the police like patrol, like what you think of the lights and sirens, all that. And then once they do their initial response, we kind of follow up. I mean, sometimes we're out in like 15 minutes or 10 minutes or however long. And then we're doing the interviews with the victims and we're canvassing with a lot of canvassing for video, which is awesome. Nowadays, there's so much technology and just video. And I mean, we'll go for days and look for video. I specialize really in finding cars. So if you have a picture on the side of a car, and it's kind of funny because I'm not a car person at all. <laughs> like I just never have been. But I'm kind of the person probably between um, the county and the city where I am that if you have a car like the homicide guy from the city called me yesterday, he's like, Hey, Langford, you know, I got a really good picture of a car, you know, but we don't really, you know, know exactly what it is. Can you help? And I was like, you know, I'd love to, but I'm out on the AT. He's like, what? That's awesome. <laughs> um, so you're really good at tracking down what, whose car that is by just like a little picture or video or something. Yes. And it's wow. really cool. Well, A, because I don't really, I'm not a car buff at all, but I've gotten, I, I guess back like 15 years ago, I saw that there was kind of a need for it because we get a lot of videos, so I, we'd have a picture of just a car like going by, and everyone's kind of like, oh, that's just a Honda Accord, like we can't find that. And I'm like, we can find that, like wow. what? Like, so I go and look at all the cars in the state and just I piece them out one by one and kind of rule out the ones that aren't it. And then, you know, I'm like, at the one time we had a case and we were at a, um, a little staff meeting and I said to my lieutenant, you know, I'm doing really well. I have it down to like 6,700 cars. <laughs> oh my God. I'm really good about this. And he looked at me like I was crazy. He was like, let me know when you have the car. And I'd had the list and I got it down to 6,700 from like 42,000 or something. And I was really, I was proud of it. And he looked at me like I was crazy. So I was, I said to my partner at the time, this a couple years ago, I was like, you know what, Dean, I'm buying that car today. <laughs> Literally. Within like three hours, I found the car. And not only wow. did I find the car, this is actually a cool story. So now you know how there's just like pictures, like license plate readers all around the place. So I found, not only did I find the car, but the guy was, so he's getting out of his car as like a cop car is going by that has the readers on it. He's getting out of his car. You could see like he parked it like on a street where he could park on the side. He's getting out of his car and then he must have like went like this against his car. When the cop car came by and he's wearing the shirt he was wearing in my robbery. <laughs> oh my like, gosh. That's my car. <laughs> my boss. And he's like, all right, well, awesome. what about that other case? And I was like, I just found the car because you told me to. <laughs> Beat on a haystack. So must, be, must be an expert at jigsaw puzzles. It was like, I gotta yeah, say. It was just sure. awesome. Next time I go on a beach vacation, she's coming with us. Yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, it's good stuff. Well, William. Gangster. Gangster. Uh, gangster. gangster. Sorry. Gangster. gangster. Uh, long story, but I was bleeding on the shoes I was trying on yesterday. Um, <laughs> and somehow out of that, gangster came out. But... It was either Bloods or Crips. We weren't really sure. <laughs> yeah, they asked, him, they asked him that at Outdoor 76. Gangster sounds uh, kind of badass. Yeah, and he looks badass, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Hopefully, hopefully I'll live up to it. But, uh, not commit any commercial robbery. Use a bicycle. Well, I don't, <laughs> I don't own a car. I do own a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> so, I can specialize in bicycles. Uh, yeah, I, I guess my bicycle is sure. pretty loud. So. Uh, I was. I guess. What do I do? Well, I'm also retired right now um, oh, okay. for six months. Uh, and then figuring things out from there. But I was most recently in Washington, D.C. for two and a half years. Worked with a small healthcare focused lobby shop. We worked with life sciences companies and doctor groups and medical device companies advocating for them before Congress and conducting research and analysis on issues that matter to them and helping them connect with legislators when needed. So uh -huh. lots of really cool work and I miss it, miss it, miss it. But mm -hmm. uh, was excited for this opportunity and been wanting to do it for a long time and the time is spelled right so here I am cool and you're not exactly sure what you're gonna do not afterwards. exactly sure okay. what I'm gonna do afterwards so still feeling things out and okay. we'll go from there cool what's your channel name Go Goldie. Goldie okay yeah Julian also I, Goldie. I've been Julian for the last two, two weeks so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm a, a high school teacher at a school in Durham North Carolina 
and uh, I'm on sabbatical this spring. I also do IT stuff for the school and um, coach soccer. I, I'm a club soccer coach as well, and uh, teach computer science. I don't know if I said that also, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I've just been uh, my uh, why. I, I think all these guys know <coughs> Monday. What is it? Wednesday? Wednesday? Yeah, Monday was my 51st birthday. Oh, happy it was birthday. 11 years to the day from getting a cancer diagnosis. Oh, wow. And, uh, so I started thinking about, <clears throat> yeah, my 40th birthday. <laughs> I found out oh, I had right colon now. cancer. Uh, and uh, so I've been kind of thinking, I've been a big outdoor guy for years. I did a National Outdoor Leadership School course in college and was a Boy Scout and worked with the outdoors program where I went to college. And um, was just sort of thinking about a good way to celebrate second chances and be live and so this has been a trip that's been brewing for a while and I know a lot of people do that 10 year mark and <laughs> last year would have been the COVID hike so I'm, I'm um, glad that I didn't do it at a 10 year mark 11 year mark is good but um yeah just uh very thankful to be out here and having a great time and meeting wonderful people and staying in awesome hostels all at the same time. Cool. So. And you're going to take a break in your hike. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. in, in about a week and a half, I have a um, girls club soccer team. A lot of them are seniors in high school, and I've coached some since they were 11 and 12 years old, mm -hmm. and their final uh, tournament for uh, state uh, cup type stuff is coming up in a few weekends, so I'm going to hop off trail and rent a car in Asheville, drive home and coach, and uh, hopefully... Uh, the longer I'm off trail wouldn't be good for me, but it's good for them because that means they win the first preliminary weekend and get mm -hmm. to the final four the following weekend. So uh, nice. fingers are crossed. Uh, good luck, girls. Cool. So. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you all for yeah. thank you guys. being here. It's Thanks. a pleasure to meet you all. Love it. And have a great rest of your hike. Thank, thank you. you. And look at her cool necklace. <laughs> oh, and actually, I'm going to say yeah, my daughter and oh, my man, son that is cool. Won. Okay, so who do we have with us today? How's it going, everyone? I'm Miguel. Mm. Uh, we're, we're combo. So. Nadia, Nadia and Miguel, no trail names yet. We are <clears throat> uh, Novo through hiking. So we started on February 9th. Okay. Uh, my trail name is Picasso, and I'm just out with some friends for the weekend. And you through hiked? I through hiked in 2018. So cool. I was taking out some people to show them the ropes this weekend. Cool. Train wreck, um, through hiker, northbound. Started uh, February 16th at Amicalola. Um, Zeroing it. She can sense that. So that nice. This is the place. Double zeroing. Definitely. Yeah, we're taking taking full advantage of the whole operation. It's been nothing but heaven here. So uh -huh. it's a must stop shop. <laughs> and you guys are headed back to the trail today. Yep, going back to Winding Stair Gap. We're yep. doing a 10 miler today. How's your hike going so far? Uh, it's been. It's been a lot of rain, but a lot of smiles too. So a lot of sunshine too, though. A lot of sunshine. We've got a couple of days, but it's been awesome. It's been, it's been more than I ever expected. Really, it's it's beautiful and uh, and pain at the same time. <laughs> I guess is the best way I can explain it. But it all pieces together to just like an amazing journey. So, Very cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're having a good time so far. Very good time. Very, cool. very good. We love it. <laughs> and Cal, how's how's your through hike going? Um, I'm sorry, train wreck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I had a, a low point on uh, the tenth day. Just really bottomed out and thought maybe I would throw it in, but <clears throat> next day to twenty eight. So I yeah. got here. So wow. you never know. Every day is different. Yeah. You know, every day is going to be what it's going to be. You just have to absorb the trail, absorb the whatever it's going to give you, and do the best you possibly can. Um, I'm trying to avoid weather, best, you know, that's trying to stay dry and um, sometimes I'm off trail in a place a little longer than it should be, but um, I don't do 30 in rain very well anymore, so, uh, but I'll be doing that this week probably. <laughs> 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 you can't stand still and make it to Katad and you gotta move on, so that's the plan. So. Cool. And you, Picasso, are here hiking with a group. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, uh, I work for a brewery in Charlotte, and we just have a meetup um, on Monday nights that is called Trail Talk, and we go through all of the nuances of backpacking. Um, so I've had a handful of people that have wanted to um, try it out a little bit more um, who haven't had the chance to go out with people. Uh, so we just got a pretty large group together. So there was 10 of us, and we were supposed to do a 25-mile loop this weekend, but 
got some really nasty weather so just breaking it up into some of them went out and camped last night um just a mile or so after the road after drying out in town a little bit and then um today we're just going to do like a 10 mile day hike up to Siler Bald. Okay, cool. And you work at Blue Blue, Blue Blaze. Blaze Brewing. Yeah. Now my sure. biggest question is, do you get free beer? Yes. Oh, nice. I have some in the car. I I'm, in the, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> <laughs> what are you running a hard? Yeah, we are um, vlogging our journey at Capture It on Cam, and then Nadia has a blog. Vlogging with the truck. It's under uh, Nadia Finney. Okay. And you are. And I'm vlogging also um, at Cal's Pals One uh, with a K, K A L S P A L S One on YouTube. Cool. Um, I have, I do have a YouTube channel, Sketching Summits. Uh, we're hiking the CDT this year, so um, if I can get my boyfriend to help me with the video editing, editing, <laughs> we'll we'll keep that updated. Um, I have a track blog as well for that. And I don't know, how do you find the Trek vlogs? Is it just under um, my name? Yeah, you would just <laughs> search the trail and then yeah, um, the year. Yeah, it it'll be CDT. Um, okay. My or, not trail name is Heidi. So, um, And then uh, Sketching Summits is my Instagram and website. And there's okay. artwork cool. and things like that. So good luck on the CDT. Thank That's, you. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Thanks. Cool.